Would you youngins quit slamming that screen door? Larry Dixon here with another postcard from Moorhead. Today we are doing pancakes on the griddle, sausage, bacon, and eggs. This is going to be one bodacious breakfast, and we're going to do it right here on this steel-made griddle. Okay, it's about time to uh, turn the griddle on. It's not hot yet, obviously. Uh, I'm going to show you my makings for the day. I've got some uh, extra sage pork sausage, and it came from Skinner Farms in Shelbyville, Kentucky. I've got my eggs. These are local eggs. They came from about uh, six or seven miles down the road. Our good friend D.B.B. Hauser has chickens, and they even lay colored eggs. This one's green. And you've got different shades of brown. We've got uh, bacon that we're going to have on the griddle, and my Bisquick shake and bake. So I'm going to, well, Lenore likes her eggs scrambled, so got them in here, going to kind of stir them up a little bit. I may put a little shot of milk in that and uh, we'll have hers will be scrambled. Mine are going to be fried in my mason jar egg rings. That's right. Well, it's been 15 minutes. This griddle has come up to the proper cooking temperature that it needs to be at. Now, if you will notice, I have got my uh, egg rings already on the griddle. I let them warm up on the griddle as the griddle was warming from the very start. You want to make sure spray a little Pam on there or nonstick something to make sure your eggs come apart. So we're going to start with the sausage. And as I said, this sausage is from Skinner Farm in Shelbyville, Kentucky. Extra sage. I'm going to let it cook up first. Get the meat done. Right back there. So we want to let this fry up. And then we're going to do the pancakes. And the eggs will be the very last thing. Little pink pinchers and flip some of this bacon over. Because like I said, Lenore likes hers floppy. What am I going to do next? I'm going to clean this grill right here, get some of this oil off of there. Because I don't need that for my pancakes. The last time I did this, I was using just a little snub of the butter. Burned my finger. So while these pancakes are frying up here on the griddle. I'm going to go ahead and do my eggs because they take a little bit longer than a scrambled egg. Pancakes, man, those are perfect. Got a nice tan on them. And so I've got uh, two, four, five. Might as well do a, a few more. Maybe do some small medallions. Now, if you're wondering about the eggs with my mason jar egg rings, and like I said, I don't care where you got the ring from or what was in the jar. I'm going to lift that right off of there. Look at that. And it just comes off so easy. Put it over here. And this one's going to come off. Look at that. Just like going to McDonald's. You want to take it. Flip it over. Flip it over. Now, some of you know, may not like your eggs with a little bit of brown crispy on there. I do. That's the way I like it. If you like them runny, don't want it on my plate. Okay. Well, as you can see, my eggs in my mason jar egg rings. Look at that. They're perfect. Your own little egg McMuffin. If I had muffins and some of that fake uh, Canadian bacon, 
Put it right up here on top. Going to keep them warm. Butter. And since this is going to be a scrambled egg, this isn't going to take long at all. Look at that. And that's it. The Nord's egg is scrambled. There's the last pancake. Put it up there on the warmer. I'm going to plate this up and we're going to have a taste of one bodacious breakfast in a few minutes. Okay, this is one bodacious breakfast. I've got the extra sage sausage. Lenore's got floppy bacon. Uh, she's got scrambled eggs. Mine were made in the egg round. And we've got pancakes. We only need one other thing, Lenore. Hot sauce. Yep. You sure? Yes. A little hot sauce on the eggs. So let's give it a try. Good. Mmm. Mmm. Let's try that sausage. Extra sage sausage. Skinner Farms out of Shelbyville, Kentucky. The eggs from D. B. B. Hauser about 10 miles down the road. This is a true mountain meal. This has been another edition, postcard from Moorhead. I'm Larry Dixon, and my taste tester is Nora. See you next time.